In this episode, we will work on a set of photographs in Lightroom Classic. And here we will explore how we can use the spot healing tool in order to retouch away blemishes and distractions. And we'll look at how we can apply these settings to other photographs as well so that we can quickly achieve beautiful results. Hello friends, my name is Chris Orwig and welcome to the series where I come to you every week and I share with you some tips and techniques which will help you to capture and create better photographs. Well, in this week's episode, we're in Lightroom and in Lightroom, we're gonna talk about how we can batch process these photographs to improve the way that they look and also deal with an issue which happened because I had dust on my lens. Let me show you what I mean. Well, here, if we go to the develop module, I'll just tap the D key. And if I scroll through the images, you can see there's this dust like right there. Can you see that little piece of dust? It stays in the same spot throughout all the photographs, regardless of the way that these images were captured. And there's other dust as well because I forgot to clean my lens. So let's look at how we can fix that really quickly and also batch process the photographs. Now, one of the things that you often wanna do first before you deal with little retouching issues like this is just to process the image. So I'm gonna to start to craft the look here, opening up those shadows quite a bit, maybe a little clarity and vibrance and perhaps a touch of warmth. Okay, so I've improved the look in the picture. Next step, of course, is to deal with the little issues, which I can see actually a little bit more because of the way I process the image. In other words, Depending upon your exposure and your contrast, you're gonna see more or less of the problem. That's why you typically want to get your settings dialed in first. Next step is to choose the spot healing tool. You can click on that in the tool strip right, tool strip right here, or you can tap the Q key on your keyboard. Next, if you press the A key on your keyboard, it will turn on visualize spots and you can change the sensitivity of this so you can see more or less of those details. And one of the things that I can see here in this view is I have a lot of little pieces of dust. And one of the ways that I know that is because of their shape. And I can press the spacebar key and kind of pan around a little bit so we can see all of those there. All right, well, you want your brush to be a little bit bigger than the blemish. Feather, just a touch of feather so it blends in nicely. We wanna do healing work and we're just going to click. Or if you need to, you can click and drag over the area. Now, currently you can see it's showing me my overlay graphics, those little circles which are showing me the source area that it's pulling from. Here, I'll tap the left bracket key to make the brush smaller for these smaller little issues over here. And I like to remove the dust a lot of times in this view because it can really help you identify it. Now, watch as I press the A key. That turns off that overlay and, or excuse me, that view where I have the ability to visualize those spots. So the A key is the shortcut to turn that on and off. And then the H key is a shortcut to hide those overlay graphics, which really you have to do that at some point because you have to be able to make sure that the sky looks seamless and everything is beautiful and wonderful. All right, great. Well, we've processed this first image. It's looking a lot better. It's actually usable. Let's move to the next photograph, which is this one right here. Now this one is captured in a similar way. It's underexposed again, unfortunately. So my exposure wasn't great and I have all the dust there. What can I do to fix that? Well, one of the things that you can do is click on the previous button. And what that will do is it will apply whatever settings I had on my previous photo here to this photo in this case. Move to the next photograph. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Just hit that previous button and that's going to remove those dust spots. But, you know, I don't really like the look that it's created for me. It's a little too yellow. So I'm gonna change my color temperature. It's also a little too, I don't know, maybe bright. And then I think the vibrance there was too strong as well. So I'm customizing that. And speaking of customizing it, you may need to do that with the look in the picture. You also may need to do that with the retouching. So if you reselect your spot healing tool, tap the A key. You can see in this case, ah, there are a couple of, of uh, dust spots that I missed. So I'm gonna go over those. They must have been behind something else in the other photograph. Tap the A key again to 
turn that visualize spots view off, then press the H key. Now, when I press the H key, let me zoom in, you can see that it removes some dust spots over here on the rocks. And sometimes you'll find that it will remove dust spots, which really don't matter. And you want to get rid of them. How do you do that and do that quickly? Here is the expert tip. Are you ready? Hold down the Option key on a Mac Alt on Windows. It changes your cursor into little scissors, and then you can just delete those really fast. Those are now gone. Now, over here, it didn't really matter that much, but let's move to another photograph, this one right here. And in this case, I'll hit Previous, and it will apply the previous settings to this photograph. And you can see that what it's done is it's applied the settings, the look. Again, I, I always like to customize the look based on the photograph and each photo I always find has a little bit different um, different need as you change your exposure. So that, that looks a lot better, but take a look at this. I have a big, big problem. The elbow over here. Can you see how it tried to retouch away this issue and it brought in some of the camera lens above? Now here's an expert tip when it comes to spot healing like this. If you press the forward slash key, that's the slash which leans to the right, it will tell Lightroom to try to find a better sample or source area. Now Lightroom is trying its best, but it just can't find anything. So I'm going to delete this altogether. I can do that either by holding down the Option key on a Mac, Alt on Windows, and that turns into scissors, then click. Or if you click on a point to activate it, whichever one you want to activate, you can just press Delete or Backspace. Now there's that little that little dust spot. So I'm going to make my brush smaller, paint over that, and that will then remove that from the image. I'll hit done and then zoom out so we can make sure the photograph looks good. Okay, well, we have learned a bit about batch processing using the previous button, also the spot healing tool, visualizing spots. Let's take it up even another notch and let's talk about another technique that we can use for batch processing. Sometimes you may get to a point where you go through your images and let's say you process the photographs and they have different looks. So this one has that look, this one over here, tap the V key to go to black and white. Think of V for victory. That's a great shortcut that gives you ability to create really nice black and white. And again, it doesn't really matter the black and white look that I'm creating here, but I'm just creating a different look, right? This image captured in completely different light, and we have all these kind of beautiful warm colors, and then this one as well. And again, I'm just to illustrate, I'm processing all of these different, and this one I'm gonna even crop different. Now, with all of these photographs that we have here, we have distinct looks. So when it comes to batch processing, I do not want to batch process the same look across all the photographs. All I want to batch process is the spot healing. How the heck do we do that? Well, here's what we can do. You can go to an image which has good retouching of all the spots. Hold down the shift key. And in the film strip below, click on the last image in the set. Then rather than using auto sync, you want to go to sync dot dot dot. Whenever you see three dots in an Adobe app, that means you're going to see a dialogue if you click. So when I click, I see this dialogue. I know there's only a few things that I want here, or probably one thing, that is spot removal. So I'm gonna say spot removal, synchronize, and then what that will do is it will synchronize those settings across all of these images. Take a look. All of those spots are now gone. And if we turn this on and click through the images, can you see how it did that for us? It took care of all of those issues that we had and it did it in a really nice and easy way. So now all of those problems are gone. So whenever you need to just deal with a specific issue and you have images captured in a different way, that really is a trick. It's all about doing the work on one image, going to sync dot dot dot, choosing what you wanna synchronize and then synchronizing. Now, if they all have the same exact look and you want them the same exact way, you can check everything and you could do that. But that's sort of obvious, right? So I wanted to show you the less than obvious um, issue there. All right, well, let's select all of these images. Command A, then press the N key. That gives us the ability to see all of the photographs that we have worked on. And as you can see here, we went through a diverse set of photographs. We improved the look in those photographs. 
But perhaps even more importantly, we looked at how we could deal with a common issue, which happens when you forget to clean your lens. And I got to tell you the truth, it happens to me all the time. I'm sure it's going to happen to you as well. So my hope is that this particular technique that we learned will help you to fix that problem really easily. All right, well, that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. I hope that you get out there and have a creative and wonderful day. And I can't wait to see you in our next episode. Until then, bye for now.